Alright everyone, welcome back to Tall Tales Custom Tackles. Um, got a little bit of plastic heating up. I got um, two cups worth of, uh, well it's actually four cups total, but two of the uh, two cup size with two cups worth in each. Um, I'm going to do a little batch of uh, Ballistic Bruiser. I know I've done a, uh, a video on this color way a while back. Um, several months back but uh hold on but um anyway I've done this color a while back but I've done it in a gallon and a half so uh this right here would be a smaller batch would be easier for you to, if you want to try to mix up your own little batch of it uh, personally I think you know it's basically a black and blue uh, personally I think this is one of the better black and blue colors. So we're going to get this plastic heated up and hopefully it turns out all right. All right, we got the plastic heated up. Um, always remember, I know I didn't show it in the video, but if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know scrape the sides the bottom cook the plastic all the way through um because if you don't you'll end up with tacky or sticky plastic that um it just i mean it just won't work out in the long run all right ballistic bruiser basically i use uh bait plastics black and the bait plastics blue with it uh, i'm also going to be using the bla uh, bait plastics flake uh sometimes i will switch up and use the lure works flake but on the black side you're going to use anywhere from 20 to 25 sometimes i'll go in between drops stop at 20 for now look at it because bait plastics their uh, pigment is very thick so just look at it and see if it's it's always better to go a little thinner first and that's why sometimes I'll go and your drops also change sometimes you might put bigger drops but let's see here just trying to make sure you can still see it <clears throat> so there I'm gonna go Two, three more drops. Sorry about the noise in the background. My dad came in, his dog is choking on something, so. Alright, let's see. Small silver. One eighth of a scoop of small silver. Medium size blue this is just the royal blue um a half goes in it and like sometimes i'll use the um the plate from like say lure works or one of the other places because it's a little bit you know it's bright even though both of them are both of them are royal blue the one from lure works just has a, a real a darker brighter blue but that looks just fine <clears throat> all right on the blue side we're gonna get, do 16 drops make sure you're still in the uh You can always change it up and make it your own. You can change up the flake color. Uh, one eighth of a small blue. And then one eighth of the small silver. But usually I like to go 
by heaping. You know, just basically just a little bit full of a scoop. And if this don't come out the way you want, you can always add you know your pearl powder or anything to it to make the blue side as you know as pearl as you want thick as you want you can always change it up but this is how i make mine all right and you're probably sick of seeing it but i'm actually gonna make these um uh, in the moon dog crawl uh mainly because they're for me um you know, I've been using that crawl a little bit here lately and I actually have done really good on it. Uh, it's a, a great bait and I wanted to make some other colors. And this is one of the colors that has really done great. Well, black and blue is one of those colors that does really good no matter where you're at in my opinion. So I'm going to warm those back up. Uh, right now there's about a 10 degree difference so I might have to tweak it a little bit because you need your temperature really close also I ain't bouncing you around as much because I'm actually using a different I know every time I do a video it seems like I got a uh, seems like I got a different uh, stand for the camera this one was at a, a store that it's like one of the little bargain stores they had it brand new for like two dollars it's one that stands up moves around let's check this temperature all right they're they're close enough table and this plastic table gets so hot that the cups melt uh, let's see if we can get you angled so you can see what's going on All right. the molds are cold everything is a little cool but we should be all right and hopefully my damn arm ain't in the way nice even pressure unless you have a mold that is um like one of those that gives you problems or shoots you know terrible if you don't go fast or slow it's just i recommend starting out like a, a nice slow to a medium you know injection paste or uh paste unless you have like most of your angling ai molds you got to shoot real fast so just all on the mold that's all about tweaking and learning your molds because all of them are different but uh, that shouldn't take too long we'll give that a minute because I'm gonna we'll make a few of these so we'll keep the plastic hot these molds have real long sprue runners so they they're pretty good about uh you know even if it comes down the sprues are real long so you ain't got to worry about them as much but anyway when these are ready we'll come right back all right we're ready to take them out the mold check them out there's the bottom side and see what i mean that that sprue that runner right there that sprue is real long so you really could get away with not filling it in and you will be just fine that's one of the best black and blue colors in my opinion it's try to get where you can really all right that's good i 
probably make one more batch of, of these before we call it. I know, I say, you're probably thinking, damn, I wish he had stopped showing that that mold. Yes, we've seen it, we're impressed, but I mean, I like that little bait. I've uh, used it and have caught some good fish on it, so I'm, I'm showing it a little bit. Plus, this is probably one of the last videos I'll shoot for a little while. I got, um, you know, I, if you've been following the channel you know i just got a uh, a new job and i start monday and i go to uh i start training actually monday so pretty much for the next um uh, eight weeks i'm gonna be in birmingham i'll be able to come home on the weekends but i'm gonna be pretty much tied up man i don't know how you know how much video time or if i'll have any extra time to really do any video or anything so this one might be the last one for a little while i mean i'm sure i could squeeze something in but you know we'll see so it all depends on how it goes i mean the way it's gonna work out i'll basically come home late friday night get to spend my Friday night and Saturday with uh with the family and then I gotta go back on Sundays they uh they really want you back Sunday afternoon uh for some reason you know I guess make sure you get a good night's sleep before school starts again I don't know how it works we'll we'll get it figured out but anyway so I start my eight weeks of training Monday, so that's why I'm doing this video right here to try to get uh get things situated. All right, hopefully you was able to see everything that's going on there. We'll give those a couple of minutes. Uh, while we're doing that, I'll do a little bit of talking. But um, that's why I'm, this weekend I'm pretty much trying to buckle down, and get everything done that I need to get done uh, before this starts. Um, I'm going to try to go fishing this afternoon one more time because, uh, like I say, it'll probably be a little while before I get to go. Um, you know, like I say, we'll see how things go. I might have time. I might not have much time. Uh, it really just depends on, I don't know what to expect. You know, I don't know if it's more hands-on school or if it's more classroom, book work, school type crap. So we'll, we'll see how it works out. But regardless, uh, We'll keep you updated. Um, anyway, I'm going to try to go out today. Uh, people around here have been doing uh, ledge fishing um, with actually big like, spoons, like jigging spoons so and flutter spoons. So we're going to go, uh, me and my dad, we're going to go try that out for a little bit and see. Uh, we actually were watching a guy um, right on the ledge. He was using a big spoon. And, we ain't never tried that style of fishing so oh uh, and it's the weekend i hate going fishing on weekends because there are too many damn people out there but anyway we're gonna ride out there and try it and if anything ride around and just do some more looking um it just really depends on how many you know people are out there and how the situation is but anyway these should be done let's look at them real quick and we will try to wrap this up all right let's angle you around these should look just like the other one, so I mean, it's there we go. Sometimes I like to get them where you can look at both sides, like that over there. I, I honestly will probably leave them alone and uh, let that be a thumbnail. But that looks great. It'd be nice if the other side would come out. Oh, let's see if we can make it. Oh, close enough. 
close enough we can lay these back in here and what I'll actually do is take and make this lay them side by side and this will be the thumbnail for the video I think that would make a good thumbnail but uh anyway I'm gonna pause you for a few minutes I'm gonna take a uh, a couple pictures of it and I'm probably gonna cause I got a little bit of plastic left over um I'll probably uh you know shoot a big worm or something uh I know there's been a lot of people posting about using uh you know big like ribbon tail worms out there on the leg so I'll I'll probably make me a couple of those but uh anyway we'll be back in a few minutes would try it I might not we'll have to see what the uh the day brings but I, that's why I only make four of these stick that to the side once these comes out we will be done with this video and we will oh let's get you So these won't take too long. Like I say, the molds were uh, cool. The um, you know with the air conditioner running, so the molds are kind of chill to the the touch. You know, so they are. Uh, and the temperature of the plastic was 300. So hopefully they they came out all right. We'll find out in just a second. If not, no big deal. They ain't like you've uh, not seen bait failures on this channel before. But anyway, should be about should be about right. I'm give it a few more seconds, and then we will. Once we get it all done, I'll lay them out on a pan. You can see what uh, see what everything looks like, or I might just hang them up. I mean, hell, I got my stuff back up there to keep all the baits hung up so I might just do that all right let's bring you around here oh yeah that will work that's a a good laminate first I was worried the blue might have overtook because it seemed like the blue was going faster but perfect laminate big ass worm and the same with this the sprue is long enough you could probably get away but it's a little bit thinner but you could probably get away with not topping off the sprue but out of good habit I always top my sprues off um you know it's, if you get in a good habit of it you won't never mess up and not top one off you know so it's always 
good practice to top them all. all right. This is kind of like just bonus because I'm not even going to put this in the description. You'll just see it. Uh, you know. Anyway, that's a good looking good looking worm it's a beast of a worm now you you definitely need to um use a decent size hook uh i've thrown this worm a couple of times i haven't hooked no uh decent bass with it yet uh but i've really not uh thrown it enough to um uh, to give it a chance now these crawls on the other hand i've thrown those a lot the last few times and that's just get a good little but anyway um i know i'm making you dizzy again anyway we're just gonna wrap this up um those crawls yeah I've, I've thrown them a lot um the colors i really didn't have uh, many colors with me when i i went um i had like a almost like a green pumpkin that might have been mixed with a little bit of watermelon. I had a color made of those and some of the uh, motor oil. And, um, you know, I caught good fish on both of those. Um, anyway, that, well, that, um, that one was caught um, on that green color. It was five and a half pound. And, I mean, that's pretty much the best one that I've got here so far. Uh, you know, five and a half pound bass ain't nothing to uh, sneeze about. I mean, that's a good one. So, um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. As always, um, you know, I appreciate everybody that subscribes to the channel, everybody that watches, uh, you know, everybody that comments, that likes the videos, uh, even the few assholes that send me dumb comments or I've had people message me, you know, with some stupid shit. I appreciate you too. But uh, anyway, you know, um, we're still planning on doing a, you know, it's still slowly building. We're still planning on doing a, uh, a giveaway at, a, at like say 2,000 subscribers. Uh, the details ain't set in stone yet, but you know, we originally talking about maybe trying to do like a mold giveaway or something on the lines that's, you know, that's got decent value to it. Uh, I think that would be kind of cool, you know, maybe offer something like that. Um, but anyway, we're finna shut this down. Um, share it with your friends, share it with your family. You can always check us out on Instagram uh, under Tall Tales Custom Tackles, Facebook under Tall Tales Custom Tackles. You can also uh, send me a message on my personal account under Eric Gilly. Um, I try to respond to everything. Um, you know, even on youtube i don't get notifications but i try to search for you know like comments i've not responded to and try to respond to everybody i can um but anyway um as always you know it helps out the channel a little bit if you like these uh these molds you can always go check them out i'll put a link in the description uh you can use my coupon code give you 10 percent off i'll include that in there too it's like tt10 uh, it stands for Tall Tail Tales 10, but anyway, TT10 at checkout will give you a uh, 10%, and this day and time, 10% goes a long ways. So uh, anyway, I will put a, uh, a link in the description for it. But um, we will catch you next time. Thank you.